If you're ready to learn how you can manage all your pages in one place, your insights in one place, and even open up a few ways for you to make extra money, stay tuned, because in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the Facebook Creator Studio. For more business and social media advice, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I upload a new video each Monday. So y'all, the Facebook Creative Studio is so cool and it actually mimics some few um, features from the YouTube Creator Studio. It seems like they're trying to play the same game here. They're trying to really elevate the experience for creating videos for creators and other, and other professionals that are looking to grow their brand with video. So if you're ready to kind of dive on in, I'm going to take you into my computer and we're going to do a full walkthrough of everything the Facebook Creator Studio has to offer. Okay, so let's take a look at the Facebook Creator Studio. Um, so um, first things first, in order for you to access it, again, you're gonna to wanna to go to business.facebook.com slash creator studio. Okay, and so when you um, get on it, you're going to um, be able to see this dashboard first, right? So you may have, have like, like a few pages that you have connected to. So if you, right now we're gonna just like look at my, um, my Facebook page and my Instagram um, page. So if you want to like kind of narrow down um, on focusing up on one page for, for right now as you explore, just select this little toggle icon right here and select the, um, the page that you wanna focus on. So when we look at the dashboard right now, you're going to see like a basic overview of your entire page, at least for um, for Facebook. OK, and so um, you're going to see like a, a seven day overview of your insights. You're going to see some of like your most recent posts that have happened in the middle here. And then also like a little um, overview of the last post that you had in the last 28 days. So like any posts that you've scheduled up on Facebook, any drafts or anything that is that is expiring up on your um, Facebook account. So um, we're just gonna go down this little menu so that you guys can kind of understand this studio a little bit better. So in terms of the Facebook page right now. So um, the other section that I um, like is the content library, right? So you don't have to like kind of like go through all these little, these little um, paths to like find an overview of all of your content that you have up on your page. So you can go right here to, 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 to your content library and see all of the content that you created in one spot, right? And so, and from there, you're able to see, like, you know, the videos that you publish, all the types that, that um, they have, because you, you, you can easily um, filter through them right here between videos, live streams, premieres, photo posts, link posts, or just regular text posts, right? And then from here, you're able to see, you know, any any details that you may um, not see just like up on your your, your regular um, page, right? So if, you're, if your content is monetized, you'll be able to like see this kind of thing light up, any, any type of like copyright references, if you can cross post it or if you have boosted it or not. Right, and then you're able to see like how many um, one minute views you have and how many three second views and how many engagements you have. You can just just kind of play with all of this information. You, there's even like a filter here where you can see everything that, 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 um, everything that has been published, everything that has been scheduled, drafts expire, expiring, okay? Um, and then from here, you can always upload more videos or create, create a post whenever you want. So no matter what page that you're on, you can just create a post. You can just do, like, you don't have to like, kind of go to Facebook and do it. You can just do it all inside this dashboard. You can just work out of here. If you have like an, like have 30 minutes, just like get things out of the way, you can just do this without having to go into actual like your Facebook profile, then go over to your Facebook page and then um, maybe get like caught by like a, like a fun cat video or something. <laughs> you can just go to the Facebook Creative Studio and just kind of just like knock out your post all at once. Okay, and um, you're able to see like, like you know, your, your, your post timeline as well here that I, um, that I like. Um, and then you'll see a little timeline there with like little, um, Overviews of like your of 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 how your post is going. Um, my Facebook page is like not popping. Like I don't invest any time into it, but that may be changing soon with the Facebook Creator Studio. 
I may be investing a little bit more time into it. And so then uh, we have some insights here. So if you have ever been like wondering like, hey, when should I be posting? When are my, pe my people online? I always say look at your insights, right? And so, and since it's inside the Facebook Creator Studio, it makes it even more accessible to you. And so this is going, going to be a, a, an amazing opportunity for you to see all about your your community, right? So my like, so like I said, my Facebook page like is not like a good representation of like of someone who should be using Facebook like properly. <laughs> but um, just for the sake of this example, I'm going to show you like all the stuff that you can um can get from it. So again, you can see how much of your community are like watching your videos. So, so like one one minute views, three three second views, the engagement, how many followers you're getting or or losing, right? Um, you can also filter this by like organic, um, by seeing like, you know, how much of these posts are like organic views, um, how many of these posts are like posted that, that you did, the cross post or the shared post, any, any top videos can, will show here or any of like your top pages. If you have like a lot of pages in, inside your career studio, like it, as if you're an admin. Um, if you're an admin to any of um, any other Facebook pages and you can kind of see which pages are doing well, right? So um, this is one underneath here. Um, the next little like subsection is loyalty, right? So you're going to this one dives deeper into like your audience and how they engage with your Facebook account. So um, how many people who have, who have followed you have how many people who have unfollowed you? Um, how many, how many followers are like returning to your page and how long are, are people watching your videos as you as you can see there's a lot of like video um stats here right so it's kind of becoming apparent that facebook really wants you to do a little, little bit more video whether it's like live video or if you actually like creating videos they really want to give you the insights of like your video because that's kind of going to be that is what the future is going to be and so they want to make sure that you have all the tools um, tools in your um, tool belt so that you can know how and what you should be making. Um, and so here you have like, you know, another summary. You'll be able to kind of see all of the trends where it's like either three, how many three, three second views you have, how many 15 second views you've had, how many one minute views you've had, and the the percentage of like the watch time. Like what is the, um, the percentage of um, view rate or like watch time that's that, that people are, are watching your videos like how much are they completing it are they only getting to like 15 percent of the video and um then you get to dive deeper into your audience want to select my um personal page and so you're going to be able to um to see more about like who are these people that you're going to, that you are engaging with is this is going to be very helpful if you're just starting out and you don't really know um like who you you've been posting for this whole time and and if you want to get a little bit more strategic about your your um your content strategy this is going to help you get an overview of like okay i'm realizing that most of my audiences is female between the ages of x y and z and, and they live in these countries and interested in all these things right so um as you create create content you're going to be able to see see all of these insights here okay so what countries they live in their the, like the language that they speak the interests that they um they have and um videos that your engaged viewers are watching so like that's like so the the top videos that are up on your facebook account that they have been watching the most engaged viewers right and the pages that your viewers like so so, the, so so this is very helpful information if you are like being consistent up on um, Facebook okay and then there is an option for like earnings here because um, there is an option for you to be monetized up on Facebook there are a few requirements here but and we're gonna get to that in a quick second um, you you can even manage your inbox from from um, the Facebook creator studio which I think is really cool you like again you can do everything here you don't have to be be distracted by the other fun stuff up on Facebook um, and then, so when we're talking about monetization, you can, um, your content can be monetized for like ad breaks, right? So your, your, your videos, like your, I think it, it has to be up to three minutes. Um, but so, it, and um, this is going to be the place where you see if you have any like monetization vi violations in the YouTube world, world, they call this like copyright strikes, or like whatever that, that can be. And so if you want to be able to, um, be like, like a partner here and like, 
sign up for ad breaks, then you can totally um, follow follow the the um, the steps here to actually make that happen. Okay, so um, for more information about that, you probably want to go to sorry payout settings. <laughs> You, yeah, you want to go to payout settings and then you want to kind of just follow whatever, like whatever information is right here. Um, there's like, like a little help center right here to like help you learn more about setting this whole thing up. But, but you are going to set it up inside this, this section here is pretty like step by step of how, of what to do it. I think I like went through the process. So, so, so you don't really see what, um, like the first step is right now off of my my page but when you when you see it it's like very like like sign up for this or um visit, visit the help center that tells you exactly what to do um and then um if you like like only if you if you're creating like um copywritten content well, content that you want to copyright or anything like that you, you can submit that content in this area all my content is not that so i don't have anything right there and this is a really cool thing. So um, if you are trying to figure out um, what kind of background music you, you should have or what kind of sound effects that you should do, but you don't want to pay for it, um, Facebook has a little sound collection um, place that you can use to um, to just, just download download um, any type of like sound or music or like background music. So um, the YouTube Creator Studio has something similar. Um, they call that the YouTube Audio Library, which is it's just royalty free music that you can use on your content so that um, you can um, be monetized so that you're not um, like using copyright materials. So, like you're not using, um, you're not using licensed music in your content. Um, and then, because if you have that, then you can't get monetized because um, the, the artist isn't getting paid for you to use that music. So um, Facebook has like a, like a lot of free music that you that you can use, and so you don't have to worry about that. But it's so cool. And then you can always add more more pages right here if you want, or add um, or add admins or editors or whatever right there. Right. So now let's go over to Instagram. I'm gonna press. I'm gonna over to this Instagram button, and um, you can do, do the same stuff similarly where um, you can create a post at any time you, you can create an Instagram um, post or an IGTV post um, if you want to see how you can actually schedule IGTV posts I'm going to put a card up where you can um, can learn that I have a video about that and um, again you're able to see all of your content so any videos that you posted photos that you've posted carousel um, put, um, photos that you have any Instagram stories that you post or any IGTVs that you posted um, in whatever time frame that you want to um, to see. And um, here are some insights. So you have so you're so you're able to even see, see your insights from here, which I think is pretty cool. You can go ahead and look at the actions taken up on your your account. You can see like your, your website visits, your profile um, visits, how many people have been pressing like your call to action buttons that are um, visible here so like the get direction the profile visits and the website visits are the most important for me because that's what i have like visible up on my website i mean up on my instagram account and then how many um how many um people are you reaching um reaching in the past like month right so um so far i have like six 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 hundred and fifty six people that i've reached okay great right how many impressions have i had and then you're able to go over to the audience section and and dive deeper into your your people. So I know that um, that my audience is predominantly women, and um, and they're between the ages of 25 to 34. And um, and I am even able to see when they're online, so I can see through the days like how many. How many of my followers are are active online, and so like the one that has like the highest um, the highest amount is is probably the day that I'm going to post on, right? And then and then as far as days and hours, the darker the square, the more active people are online. The lighter the square, the the least amount of people are active online. All right, so just kind of go through this and see when your people are online, and then. It'll give you a better idea of like when to post. Now, this is also inside the app, but if you're already in the YouTube, the Facebook Creator Studio, then you have that information available to you. Um, and then, uh, like again, what what country they're in and what cities they're in, and 
So, and then you can always like add another Instagram group account if you want to get that same type of, of um, capability <laughs> um, inside the studio. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I, I, I hope it gave you a little bit more of an idea of like what is available to you inside this whole thing. And I hope it, it helped you generate some ideas of like just allowing you to just have more time to sit down and just uh, do your social media in like 30 minutes and then just and then just like kind of set it and then just focus upon engaging with the people after like your posts are made. So that's the Facebook Creative Studio. I am so excited about this thing, you guys, like you don't understand. It is literally just the same as the YouTube Creator Studio that I'm in every single day to make these beautiful videos for y'all here. And so in the Facebook Creator Studio, I'm able to focus more on scheduling my, my IGTVs, picking out my posts, looking at my analytics on a desktop. That changes everything for me. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And if you don't see some of the things inside my walkthrough, it's totally okay. You may, be, you may just be waiting for a little update here and there. So um, it's okay. Just keep refreshing every, every week or so. And the same feature should be available to you as well. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a like, subscribing to my channel, and tag me on Instagram with this screenshot. Don't forget to let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>